Hey everybody, uh, Soda Hunter here. I'm done for the day in Haiti, Missouri. And if you're when you're watching this, I just came back literally from uh, vacation the, the day before. Um, got up, uh, started driving at 7 a.m. Monday morning. Made it to uh, my house in South Alabama at 5 p.m. somewhere in there. And that's decent time with a toddler. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, got up the next morning, went trucking, you know, went uh, down to uh, Mississippi, picked up a load and headed up to St. Louis, Missouri with it, and here I am about three hours away from the destination in Haiti, Missouri. So I've covered some ground the last two days. Uh, it happens once in a while. Sometimes your personal life mixes with this. But I'm done for the day, like I said, and I'm about to sit down to dinner and I need something to drink, so I have this, a big huge can of shack soda now the last one i had was strawberries and cream and the only thing that impressed me about that was the uh, smell of it the smell smelled like a uh, strawberry shortcake the um actual drink itself was not that good this one is orange and cream uh made by the arizona company i'll read you the ingredients carbonated filtered water sugar orange juice from concentrate honey natural flavor bourbon vanilla extract vegetable juice for color and citric acid it's got, like the other one, it's got good stuff in it. I was really disappointed with the other one, how sweet it was. It, it wasn't sweet at all. And it has the right amount of calories where you expect it to be pretty sweet. You know, you got 23 and a half ounces and it's going to have 270 calories in it. That's, that's, that's a sweet soda. That's, that's right on the level with uh, like a Coke. Or something that's right on that level maybe a little less but um I was really uh, disappointed with it and maybe this one will prove me wrong uh, he's got little things on the side of the can there's a Shackzilla thing right there and then I think one right there says uh, a big can for the big man and each one of them's got him with a different face on the front of it so uh, who knows well, maybe this one will be a lot better. So, I'm going to pop this open. I, I can smell the orange already in my mason jar. Light orange color. Still kind of amber, amber color, but it's got a little orange tint to it. it. Smells good, like the other one. It smells creamsicle, or dreamsicle. What do you, what do you call it? Creamsicle, dreamsicle, you know what I mean. Smells just like it. Maybe this one would be better. The strawberry one wasn't that good. But maybe this one would be better. So let's see. That one's better. <laughs> right off top, I can tell you, that one is better. A hundred times better. It's got a little funky aftertaste to it. And I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, the flavors go away really quick, though. The, the flavors that you're expecting, the orange and cream, they're there, and then they go away. And then it has an aftertaste. Um, might be the vegetable juice in it or something like that. But that's the same aftertaste I was getting with the strawberry. But carbonation level is decent with it. The acidity is good. It's got a good burn, uh, which I like that. better initially than after the fact. Like, you, you take your first sip of it and you're like, wow, that's really good. And then once the sip is gone, you're like, I think that was good. <laughs> and you take another sip, it's like, yeah, that was good. And then the sip's gone, it's like, well, I maybe. You know, it, it, you go back and forth with it. Once you're done with the initial swallow, you get that aftertaste and you're just, I guess it kind of makes you want to go back for more to get rid of the aftertaste, but then you always end up with the aftertaste, so, um, it's decent, it's mid-level, uh, I like the fact that it's got all the natural ingredients and stuff like that in it, that's really good, but I've had sodas that had really natural ingredients in it before, um, Birdie and Bill's comes to mind immediately, and they taste a hundred times better than this, this one's okay, this one, this one is very drinkable. Uh, the strawberry and cream to me was not drinkable. If I ever saw that again, if they're still in date, <laughs> I think it's been a couple of years for that shack soda. But they're still good. There's nothing wrong with them. And I get a good 
sense of the flavor with them anyway. Um, I have two more of these. I have a blueberry and cream and I have a uh, vanilla and cream. Or vanilla and cream. That's kind of redundant. Uh, basically vanilla soda. Uh, so I have two more of those later on down the line. Um, next up I'm going to do a uh, soda from Sweden. I'm going to have to use a lot of Google Translate on that one. And uh, I actually got that in the mail from a guy in Sweden that I, I saw on Twitter. Uh, we did a little soda exchange and he sent me some Swedish stuff. I sent him some good Southern American stuff. <laughs> Swamp pop and junk, you know. That's my go-to. If anybody wants to trade soda or something like that, I was like, here, try this. You might really like it. It's been, you know, they've been kind of too sweet for most everybody except me. I love the stuff. Now I'm just weird, I guess. But, um, after that I have a uh, Haritos Cola, Mexican Cola. Looking forward to that one. I bet that one's going to be really good. But, right now it's this. And it's okay. If you like orange and cream, you'll like that okay. It's got a funky aftertaste, though. Um, which could be attributed to all these natural ingredients, particularly the vegetable juice. That's a little funny to be adding to a soda. And it says vegetable juice for color. Leave the color off of it, you know. Uh, you can dye it off for all I care. I don't, I don't care. Uh, it can be a clear orange and cream soda. That'd be neat. A clear orange and cream soda? What the heck? But it contains vegetable juice to make it look more appealing, I guess. More the amber color. But they don't need to do that. I think it actually messed up the flavor, my personal opinion. But we'll see. I still have blueberry and vanilla left. So, hey, that one's okay. It's drinkable. Uh, if you like this video, follow me on Twitter at soda underscore hunter. Facebook.com slash soda hunter Kevin. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Comment below. Uh, again, Shack Sodas, what do you think? Have you had them? Are they still out? I don't even know. Uh, I just saw them at a Win dixie and picked up four of them a while back. So they might be all gone for all I know. And, uh, well, until next time, happy hunting.